Yes! Diamond! Shit! Oh, well that's great, took no damage. Hello people, this is your team captain speaking, and I'm here to give you a redstone tutorial. This redstone tutorial will provide you with a redstone trap, as you just saw. It seemed to have done no damage to me, but that's about to change, because I'll show you how to make it do damage. So let us begin. This is a nice model of it. As you can see, it, it looks, you can make it into a house pretty easily, but that, that's not a part of the question, because you know you can. And basically how it works is you break any one of these diamond blocks and it will set a redstone signal to this TNT. It's actually quite easy. As far as I know so far, I am the one who came up with it. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. So just to show you that it does work, I'm going to break any one of these redstone blocks. Uh, let's just go... There we go. And I made that one way more destructive than the other one because I have no clue why. Now let me show you how it works and how to make it at the same time. So basically you just want to block that people will be tempted to break. And you're going to want some redstone and TNT. And that's basically all you need. And then you go make a nice little frame. You can stack the blocks that you have to break but I'm not going to do that today. So you basically put the redstone torch on the back of the one you want to break, uh, on the back of the block you want to break. So like so. As you can see this is very tempting to break but we're not going to do it yet. And then when you put a block on top of the redstone torch like so, it won't work if you do that. It has to be off so you have to put a block over top. Um, basically it will turn off the redstone signal and on the top redstone torch so let me just show you a nice example here it turned on and it turned on the whole redstone line so now basically to set off the TNT you just build a nice pathway down and connect it to some TNT like so and you don't want to put it like close to that I'm, I think that won't blow up but just in case I'm gonna do that so I won't have to redo this and there we go so now that we have our basic outline, you might want to cover this up because you don't want those redstone torches to be obvious. And you can do it all around as you saw in that one. And yeah, so basically now I can show you that it actually probably will kill something because it didn't kill me for some reason. But we can make it so it will kill someone or something. One of the three. Okay, now let's spawn an enderman in here. Well, it looks like these douchebags won't do anything for me. So let's... Oh, yeah, that's why. So we do that. Just spawn a bunch around. And I forgot to put... Uh, I'll just put it up here. You should probably put the TNT under the ground so they won't notice it and it won't be very obvious. But just for this example, and as you can see here, they will blow up. So it killed all of them in that radius, and I'm pretty sure these things have as much HP as humans. So yeah, that's basically it for this one. Next time I will show you how to make a different mo a different redstone trap that's going to include TNT. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys, this is my first video on this channel, and I would really like it if you could subscribe, and liking and commenting I will appreciate it even though I know I only have two subscribers. Thank you!